Hey everybody, this is Leslie at Black Dog Vintage and I have a story to tell you. Um, you guys all know Angel, my dog. Well, she doesn't even want to show her face to you guys right now because she's super naughty. And she got into the jewelry room yesterday and she decided to chew up um, two packages that were going out to customers yesterday. And um, she also decided to get into a box that I have a bunch of like gift boxes and stuff that I recycle and might send out pieces in just for extra protection. Um, a bag of little like um, little gift bags that I use and she got into a tray of like craft jewelry that I had or a box of craft jewelry, jewelry that I had on the floor that I was just throwing stuff in as I was sorting. Um, this was both my fault and my son's fault. I left um, thinking that my son was going to be home and then he went and left and he got everything set to kind of lock her in her little area that we leave her in and but forgot to put the guard up in one spot um and she got in that area and i think she was angry that we left her because normally she goes with me everywhere and she got in so yeah so that's my story about this little girl that is so naughty and uh yeah so i just had to share that story with you um and it was all while I went to the flea market yesterday. And uh, so I'm bringing you guys the haul from the flea market. It's not that large of a haul. Um, but I also got two bags or three bags of uh, rhinestone jewelry that a my guy at the flea market usually like tosses or, you know, doesn't really put out. It's like tangled and, you know, kind of a mess and all of that. But I usually go through it. There's usually a fair amount of good pieces. So I'll be going through that today and also later, and I'll bring that video to you guys in the next day or two, but um, I'm going to be bringing you guys my haul, my regular haul from the flea market right now, and we'll see what we have for you guys, and that will all be in the uh, live on Thursday this week. And then there will also be um, my normal clearance live on Wednesdays, uh, which is always going to be on Wednesdays now at 8 p.m. Clearance live is at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we have in the hall. And uh, let's meet our little uh, jailbird. Uh, she was in jail most of yesterday after she got in trouble. So let's see the jailbird and uh, then we'll move on to the hall. Angel, what did you do yesterday? Did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble yesterday? Were you in trouble? Did you get into the jewelry? Yeah. You don't even want to admit it. You don't even want to admit it. You got into the jewelry. You were a naughty girl. You were a naughty girl yesterday. You got to apologize to everybody because they all love you, but you can't get into their stuff. So go say sorry, everybody. Say sorry. But I think everybody will still love you, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a huge haul today. I already put it out, took it out of the bags, just kind of dumped it out of the bags and put it on the table um, just so it didn't make a ton of noise. And here we go with the haul. And uh, then I'll sort through the two big bags that he, or three big bags, sorry, two big bags, one small bag of stuff that he gave me. And um, then I'll do kind of like a clearance haul or, you know, see what we've got in there. Um, and then there'll be a lot of, you know, craft jewelry and all of that in there. And I do have tons of craft 
um, for sale. If anybody is interested in craft jewelry for sale, please let me know. It'll be, you know, broken pieces, um, things that, you know, if you want to try to repair them, that type of thing. Um, I do have a lot of craft pieces that um, are available or craft bags that are available for purchase. Um, and I usually do whatever is, uh, whatever can fit into a mailer box, a flat rate mailer box. So I've got small, medium, and large mailer boxes. Um, and just let me know if you're interested in purchasing one of those. So, um, you know, we can, we can do that. So just let me know. Um, all right, so let's move on. Um, the first one is, this is a gold fill. Let me take it off of the uh, piece here. At least it was marked a gold fill. Um, looks like there might be a little bit of vertigree in the back that I'll have to take off. Um, but this is definitely an older piece based on, it does have a C class, or at least it does look, definitely does look older. I'm looking for a gold fill mark on it. I'm not seeing one. So I'm not sure how he knew it was gold fill. Hmm, interesting. But it is a very cool piece. Um, I'm not sure if this is, it feels like that is like maybe a lucite stone or something along those lines, but that's a really neat piece. Um, love this one. A little bit of metal wear right up at the top there, but I just love this look to it. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's pretty. Um, I liked that it had the C clasp. Definitely showed some age. And I believe that is just a little bit of verdigree there, which we can easily take off um, with just a little bit of vinegar. And I don't see a gold fill mark on there, so I'm not sure why he had it listed as gold fill, but still a very nice brooch. Do like that one. So that was one. And then look at this butterfly. This, and it was made in Germany, West Germany. Uh, or no, just, yeah, West Germany. And look at the enameling on this. I thought that was really pretty. I love the colors. Super cool. Really nice piece. Got a little bit of dimension in there with the double wings. So I just thought that was really pretty and I did like the dimension. Looks like a little crack in the enamel there, but that's okay. Super pretty, really pretty piece. Um, and then I found this. So this is a J. Crew piece. And it's an older J. Crew piece. There we go, J. Crew. Um, and this one, let's see what this one meant. So look at the colors on this, isn't that fun? Great little colors. These are glass, these are all glass. And it's on this like multi-strand leather cord and then they're um, bound together with these little brass pieces. And then these glass pieces are on, they're cold, let's test it. Oh, those are not glass. They're, they're cold, so maybe it was just, it's just cold in my house. It could be just cold in my house. Yeah, the rhinestones are glass, but these are not glass. So those must just be acrylic. And then it's got that pretty little faux turquoise right there. It's super pretty. And then it's got that nice back, J. Crew back to it. Really cool. And... It is, the shortest it can be is, let's see, I really do like J. Crew. I, you know, it's it's the one more modern type of jewelry that I do pick up on a, every time I see it. I will pick up J. Crew. It's a good seller. Um, vintage, you know, anybody who likes vintage usually will like J. Crew. Um, you know, especially the vintage J. Crew. Vintage J. Crew is made by Signer. Um, so this goes 16 to 19 inches. And um, you know, since my I have the black, it doesn't like to show up on the black, so that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. 
great colors. I love the blue and then this cranberry color. Really cool. And this, look at the bottom. That's got some opalescence in there. Super cool. Um, so yeah, vintage J. Crew made by Signer, but really all J. Crew jewelry is just really nicely done. So I will almost always pick it up. Pretty much always pick it up. Okay, so this I picked up. Um, it's so pretty and it is missing the uh, safety, but the reason why I picked it up is look at the engraving on the inside. Eleanor Gouland, G-U-L-L-A-N-D, 1937. I love this. I almost want to look up who Eleanor was. It's got these little pearls, which are all still intact. Absolutely gorgeous. And this measures um, about six and a half on here. So it's going to be small, but oh my gosh, isn't that just so sweet that it's engraved. It's got the date on it. The fact that it's 1937. Oh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this. I wonder if it's got anything on the clasp. No. So it's not marked gold fill. It's not marked anything along those lines, but Oh, 1937. Just warms my heart. And now I want to look up who, see if I can find anything about Eleanor Gouland or Gallant. Go on. Oh, just amazing. Amazing. So I wonder if she's from Michigan. Um, these I thought were fun. These are really lightweight. So I'm assuming these are probably like a plastic or something. But so fun. Just little AB earrings. Plastic, or, um you know, clip earrings on a lucite back. Just super fun and sparkly. Gotta love the sparkle. You know, I'm a sucker for cl for uh, cluster earrings. I always pick them up, whether they are good sellers or not. I just always pick them up. Here's another cluster, black cluster um, earring. It's got a little bit of AB coating to some of the beads. Just fun, clip-on earrings. Just really nice clip-ons. And then I grabbed this little brooch. It's got a really pretty like amethyst crystal. And the amethyst crystal really had some nice like reflection in it. You know, it's got a little bit of like orange that will pop up in there, a little bit of blue that pops up in there. Just thought that was really a nice piece. It isn't marked, but it's just a nice, look at that crystal. Look at the colors that come off up on there. Nice refraction. Nice reflection, just nice, it's a nice piece. Um, oh, this ring too, that's a nice old ring. Now it is missing the center stone, which, you know, I can put a center stone in there, like a rhinestone or something along those lines. And this is marked 130th, 14 karat, RGP, like, mm, something gold plate, I'm assuming. But, and it's tiny, very, very, very small. Size six, I guess it's not too bad. It's missing some plating in the back. It looks like well, some plating's cracking off, but I figure I could just pop a little stone in there. Just be a really pretty, it's very old. It's a very old ring. Um, but it's so cool, such a cool piece. I just, you know, I knew it was old, you know, it, you know, it just, I just thought it was cool. Just very, very, very cool piece. Um, I don't normally buy cufflinks, although men's stuff, the men's stuff that I have recently put on eBay has been flying out the door. So I'm gonna start listing, I have a ton. I have a ton of cufflinks, I have a ton of tie tacks. I just haven't listed them. I haven't done anything with them. I don't know whether or not I should bring them to the lives or not. So if if you guys think I should, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue putting them on eBay. Um, but these Jelly Belly Turtle 
cufflinks I could not resist. They've got cute little green eyes. Um, they are not marked or anything like that, um, but I thought these were just adorable and I could not resist them. I love these. <laughs> they just made me happy when I saw them. They made me happy. Could you imagine a guy with these as cufflinks? I just thought they, I would love to meet the man that would have these as cufflinks because that would probably be my type of man. Just saying, just saying. I don't know if my husband would wear those, but I don't know. My husband doesn't wear cufflinks. He was a firefighter. <laughs> All right. So the next piece, I, this is cool. And I might have to bring a, um, a neck out for this one. I don't recognize this. I think I've had, I think I've recently had this exact same tag and maybe one of you guys told me what it was and I don't know what it was. This is the tag. Anybody remember that? I don't, I don't remember. I want to say somebody told me what it was. I had it in a recent video. This is just a lariat. So it's got these beautiful crystals. It's super long with these gorgeous silver tassels at the end, like really nice tassels at the end. Now, um, let me see here. I have, I'm going to put this on a, I'm going to put this, this on a mannequin or a neck so you guys can see what it looks like. It's because this is really something that I, that needs to be displayed. Now, I don't understand why there's a clasp in the back because there's not a way to clasp if you wanted to split this. There's not a place to clasp it up here and there's only a clasp on one side. So, I'm not sure. Maybe once we put it on a neck, I'll be able to figure it out. So, let's put it on a neck. So, I tied it. Now, you're going to see part of my light there. I tied that because the clasp has to go in the back. Um, you can't just wrap it. I don't know. Um, it's got these great tassels. And... So I tied it like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's cool though. You'd have to play around with it. So it's really long. Um, but this is, this clasp really is confusing me. So maybe somebody will have an idea. I mean, it could go in the front, I guess. Um, or if you have a thin neck, you could wrap it twice um or if you wanted to wear the the um like the tassel is really high up you could wrap it twice um let's get a length on it it is not including the tassels um it's about 48 inches long and then the tassels themselves are about four inches long. So, and these are all glass beads. These are all glass, you know, um, crystals. And then I don't think these are sterling though, but it's super cool. I really liked it. So I grabbed it. Um, so I don't know as I reach across. This brooch, there's no marks on it or anything, but I just thought this was super cool. Maybe, I mean, I thought it was pretty old. Maybe it's handmade. Maybe it's something, maybe it's not. I don't know. I just, it intrigued me. I really liked it. It's got a little glue back there, but um, I really liked this piece. Um, if anybody has any ideas on it, let me know. Um, it's got a, some prong set stones in there. It's got these enameled leaves that are metal. These are all enameled metal for the flowers. And then the pearl and then the moonstone. I, I just thought it was cool. I thought it was cool and there's the back of it. So I, got, I picked up that brooch. 
Um, most everything else is necklaces, believe it or not. Um, this is a really cool stone necklace that I grabbed. Um, and then there's some glass beads on here too. Um, actually, most of oh, the, that stone. And let's see, I've got my Presidium, um, which I recalibrated. And we've got, this is quartz. Um, let's see, the black I think is glass. Moving up a little bit. Yesterday was moving up a lot for glass. Um, that's quartz. That's definitely glass. I don't know. So I guess it's just like uh, glass and quartz. And it's got an older style lobster claw clasp. So just a really pretty necklace. And then that, those are lamp work beads. Let's see how those test. Yeah, those are hardly moving. I don't know, maybe do I need to recalibrate that again? Those are definitely glass. All right, then, oh, let's get a length on it. The Silly Presidium, I don't know what's going on with it. Got it to register it a lot better yesterday and today it wants to act up again. But 14 drops, so 28 inches on this. Beautiful piece. Um, the next one is also another stone piece. This one is quite long. Um, it has this kind of clasp, this little hook clasp, this brass beads, and then I'm assuming this is some kind of quartz. Yeah, it's getting into there. It's almost a quartz. And really pretty stones. And this is nice and this one's really long. Um, this one is whew, 40 inches. Whew, very long. Very, very, very long piece, but beautiful stones. Beautiful stones, beautiful brass in that. I really like that. Then we have Tangle. There we go. So this one, I believe, is turquoise with some liquid silver. And I don't know if that's gonna be real sterling or not. We could test that, I guess. Um, that looks like dyed howlite. That might be turquoise down there, but I thought that was just a really pretty necklace. Barrel clasp. Um, no, that looks dyed. And yeah, these are gonna be dyed beads. And so probably not silver. Yeah, that's rusting up. But I thought that was just kind of a pretty, pretty necklace there. Kind of cool, kind of different. Um, very uh, 1970s-ish looking, 80s-ish looking. Um, 20 inches long to the inner uh, one, to the inner uh, necklace. So really pretty. And then we have this necklace. These are glass beads. And 
This is a beautiful barrel clasp. Very high quality necklace. It is a little on the shorter side, but I love these beads. I love the bright red. These, this is a gorgeous necklace, just so pretty. And um, it is 16 inches in length. Isn't that just a beautiful color? Absolutely beautiful color. Look at the, here, the glass. So pretty. This is another glass necklace that I thought was just really nice colors. Um, and this one, look at that. We've got some like iridescent, like gold on the red, and then the lighter colors. That I just thought was another really pretty necklace that you could layer with. Imagine layering that with some gold chains. Ooh, that would be so pretty. Oh my goodness. Me and my layering. This has a spring ring clasp, so it's a little bit older. A little bit older on this one. Um, 34 inches. That's And these are all hand knotted. All hand knotted. Absolutely gorgeous necklace. This one is a little bit more natural. So we've got some natural beads in here. So we've got, um, it looks like some maybe like wooden or, you know, bamboo style beads, some glass beads. Um, this would be another really pretty one to layer with. And the colors are gorgeous. This would be a great summer necklace. Easily doubles. Um, and this one we could, or it would be 48 inches long. So easily, easily doubles. But isn't that a great summer necklace with that coral and the beige and the brown? Picture that with some linen. Oh, so, so, so pretty. And then like maybe a coral necklace or some other like chunky coral pieces. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Or even turquoise, but that was some turquoise. Yeah. Or even like a necklace like this. Layer it with that. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? So this is the last necklace that I, oh no, second to last necklace I got. I've got one more. So this is a multi-strand. You've got this kind of like bamboo wood bead plus this metal long bead, silver tone long bead, and then these silver beads here. I love this one. And then the wood beads, and it's got a little hook here. Very 80s. This is another one. Great summer necklace, nice and long. I think I was in the summer vibe and like ready for warmer weather. Um, this one here is about 28 inches long and uh, just, awesome just a such a fun necklace and uh just i love it i love it love it love it um and then the last one here is actually a little bit of a um it's a shorter necklace and this one tended oh no this one i spent a long time at the booth trying to get it to not tangle or untangle and let's see if we can get it to here we go so these are, I think, stone. They felt like stone. Um, and we're going to test it. Hopefully it'll test well. Ha ha. Look at that. They're jade. So this is a jade drop necklace. See, you know what? I bought those bracelets the other day, which I did return, by the way. Um, and that said they were jade and they weren't jade. And then here I found this necklace at the flea market. And this is a jade bead little drop waterfall style necklace. Look how pretty that is such a nice piece and then it has matching little drop earrings isn't that just so pretty so delicate um let's check and see 
any marks on here. No. No marks on the chain. So I don't know if the chain might be gold fill or something, but we do have some jade. Look at there's even faceted. And then we've got some abalone, mother of pearl. Really pretty, really pretty little jade waterfall necklace. Oh, and I lie again. I'm lying again. There is one more piece. I forgot I got this brooch. This was a cool brooch. This was a, um, it reminded me, or I think it is like a, a Indian and not, and I don't mean Native American. I mean the country of India brooch. And I just love the colors and I loved, it had a Buddha on it. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So, and then that is the back of it. It has a kind of an older class, but it could just be that is the style. I don't know how old this might be. And then I don't, I don't think those are stones. I don't know. They could be stones. And then it's got a little carved face. I do need to research this a little bit more because I can't really tell the age of this at all. Um, I'm not sure of the age because it, it looks like it could be stone. But then there's this one and I can't tell if that's a stone or not. But then these all look like stones. The face looks like a carved stone. What do you guys think? Let me know. I love this one. I think this is gorgeous, but I do tend to like this type of style. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a cool piece. Um, but I, then again, I think all the pieces I get are cool. So, you know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and don't forget, if you like my channel, if you like the things I bring to you, please hit that subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. Um, and don't forget, I have live sales every Thursday at 8 p.m. And I have uh, clearance sales now every or what, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I have clearance sales every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So definitely don't miss out on those. And, def and if you um, buy a lot or if you think you might buy a lot, definitely check out channel memberships. There's a couple levels that have discounts. So check out those too. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I can't wait to see you on the next video or on the next live. Love you all. Bye.